A big thanks to SM Real Estate for sponsoring this video. What's up, guys? Welcome to North Idaho. Today, we're going to make a video on the best restaurants in Coeur d'Alene. I'm with my friend Stefan in his house, and we've been eating out for a month. All right, so here you go. The best restaurants in Coeur d'Alene are. Wait, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Well, let's break them up. Let's do five, five, five. Okay. All right, let's start with breakfast. All right, so when it comes to breakfast, what's your favorite breakfast place in Coeur d'Alene? Hold on, let's go on three. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, three. The Garnet. Bells. No, the Garnet. Bells. See, the Garnet, I love the Garnet. It's a classic, it's been there forever. The food is like farm to table, it's fresh. It, it just has that, that really good homey feel. I had spaghetti and eggs. That's it's weird. It's weird, but they added like duck sausage and like feta cheese or goat cheese. Wow. It was really interesting. It was tasty. It was, it was weird, but it was really good. But Bell's has a pulled pork Benedict and then also their BLT with avocado. Don't they have like a really good cinnamon roll too? The great cinnamon roll and strawberry jam. Their strawberry jam is homemade. It is the best. It comes in a squeeze bottle. It's, it's to die for. There's more breakfast places, so which one's your like second favorite or, or your other favorite? All right, I got mine. Okay, one, two, three. Fine Chomper. Brood. Ooh, fine brewed. They have the fresh juices, fresh squeezed juices, um, the acai bowls, really good healthy option, plus bottomless mimosas on Saturday. Okay, I think you win. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, Chomper, Chomper has very similar things to Bell's. I know they're same owners, and yes, I know they're not in Coeur d'Alene, but hear me out. I, I, I added a, a poll to Facebook, and everybody in Coeur d'Alene said Chomper and Bell's were some of their favorite breakfast places. So even though they're not there, that's where everybody from Coeur d'Alene goes, so I'm keeping them in this video. But Chomper, as you can taste, it's fresh. The cinnamon roll was awesome. They added like a huckleberry raspberry sauce to it. That was really, really good, by the way. Wow. And the waffles are good. Like the, the whole experience was great. All right, there has to be one more. So one, two, three. Michael, Michael D's. D's. Oh, right. we agree on something. <laughs> East Side of Sherman, it's a true classic. I mean, it's been there since I was a little kid. Great breakfast place. Great waffles. What did I have today for breakfast? Oh, I had pancakes. You know, I haven't had pancakes in like two years. <laughs> Before we get into lunch, we both worked in the service industry for many years. We worked in Coeur d'Alene. There's a lot of people that visit Idaho from other states or for, from other parts of the, the world. Idaho is a right to work state. Just like when I worked in New Jersey, my salary was $2.13 an hour. And it's very similar here in Idaho. And people in the service in industry really depend on tips. How, how do you feel about tips and stuff like that? I feel like I do minimum 20% and if the service is incredible, then I tip even beyond that. Well, you're generous. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a friendly reminder. You know, I have friends from other states and what they do is double the sales tax. Sales tax in Idaho is 6%. So if you're doubling it, that's only 12%. 12 that's, tip. that's yeah, you know. Tip. So it's something to keep in mind. You know, the neighboring states like Washington, states like California, the minimum wage is a lot more than $2 an hour. You know, keep that in mind when you go out to a restaurant in Idaho. So let's, let's go back to the video, lunch. On three, your favorite restaurant in Coeur d'Alene for lunch. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Syringa. Olympia. Ooh, Olympia. No, I like, see, Syringa is awesome. It's been there forever. The, the sushi is really, really good. It's fresh. I mean, they, they just something, whatever they do, it works. And it's not just sushi. I had this fried pork thing and the noodle bowl, and it, it was just, I know these are more dinners, but I had it about lunchtime, so I'm gonna count them as lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and they also had that croissant bread pudding. Have you ever had Ooh, that? Ooh, I haven't had that. Think of bread pudding, but with a croissant. So like buttery, flaky, and, and ice cream on top of that. That'd be great. That was awesome. But Olympia, they have a great lamb salad. I mean, it's Greek, so if you love Greek food, they, yes, they do. They kill it on the Greek food. And they have the saganaki, that fried cheese with the orange Cointreau or something. They use an orange liqueur or something, and it, it, the fried cheese with that and the pita bread is just so good. Oh, it's a great and then place. the heroes, the heroes. How do you say that? Euros. <laughs> Gyros. It's Greek, dude. No, Hitos. Whatever. Whatever they do, they, they make magic. They're really good. The tzatziki sauce is awesome. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. So let's go again on three. One, 
two, three. Moon seasons. time. Seasons. I like seasons in martini bar. It's always fun, the food is good. But moon time, dude, they have a, a lamb burger that is awesome. Moon time's also the local hangout. I mm -hmm. would say moon time is the definite local hangout. Seasons is fresh food daily. Um, they do a great job and the martinis are awesome. Yeah, the it, drinks are really good. They are really good. It really is a great dinner place too, but their lunch. Seasons has a really good trio appetizer thing. Three sliders with fries, that was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Moon Time has the raviolis. Yeah, the raviolis. Dude, they're like so good. I don't know if it's fresh pasta or not, but the raviolis were just awesome. Which I do want to add something here to this video. If you go to one of these places and it's not great, give it, give it a second try. If after the second try they don't get it right, Okay, then you have a point. And when you're working with the service industry, you're working with different ingredients, different personalities, different people cooking. So, you know, you can't base your whole opinion on a restaurant based on one trip. Agreed. So next favorite lunch place in Coeur d'Alene. All right. All right, you okay. ready? One, two, three. Barnet. Ooh. <laughs> well, we worked there. <laughs> we did. And it was better when we worked there. It was so much better. Barnet, it's, it was the first restaurant right here in the pond. In Riverstone. In Riverstone, yeah, and it was really good. Uh, it's still good, but like I said, we have memories from when we were there, and, and those memories are better. <laughs> Remember that flare competition we did? I know, that was fun. We, <laughs> we didn't win. It's the first restaurant distillery in Idaho. They have really good food if for lunch. You're in and out. If you're a business person, somebody working in the area, it's fast, it's good. The, I really like the ahi tuna appetizer. Oh, the ahi is great. And the uh, panzanella bruschetta salad. Panzanella bruschetta salad and then the yellowfin tuna salad is really a mm -hmm. great lunch option. All right, so let's get into dinner. I know there's a lot of really good dinner places in Coeur d'Alene. I mean, there's a ton and they're really good. And I have my favorites, I'm sure you have your favorites. But before we get into these favorite places, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is s and Real Estate. Stefan and his partner, Mandy, they're awesome. If you're interested in buying, selling, or investing in the real estate market here in North Idaho, there's nobody else I would go to. They're awesome. They got their stuff together. They, Thank know, you. <laughs> they know what they're doing. It just, you know, why go anywhere else? So let's get back to the video. On three, what's your favorite dinner place in Coeur d'Alene? One, two, three. Beverly's. Bluebird. Ooh, Bluebird Cafe. Bluebird has awesome food. I'll, I'll give you that. But see, they Beverly's do. is the whole experience. I can't disagree with you on that one. See, and yes, Beverly's might be like one of the higher end, like maybe maybe even the most expensive place in Coeur d'Alene. I think it but is. I just went to Utah and there's places that have almost twice as expensive and half the experience. Beverly's has a great experience. You're you know, perched right up. You're on, on the, the seventh canyon. floor. You're looking at the lake. It's a great view. But yes, I will have to agree. Bluebird has really good food when it comes to price and quality and, and their food. It is really good. I had a, a fried chicken there. Fried chicken. Fried chicken with the honey sauce, and it was really good. So the halibut at Bluebird Cafe is amazing. Yeah. You know what's really good? The salads. At Bluebird. You know, I never yeah. think about salads, but Bluebird salads are really good. Mm -hmm. Like the blue cheese wedge and all. I like the vibe there too. It's all surrounded in wood and just it has a great atmosphere. It does have a good feel. But see, now Beverly's, you get the view. Beef carpaccio as an appetizer is awesome. The fried calamari. The, they got one of the biggest wine selections in the Northwest, and to me that's, I like wine. So let me say this then, Bluebird for date night, Beverly's for anniversary. A special occasion? Special occasion. Like anniversary, Tuesday? Birthday, Tuesday. Wednesday, <laughs> Friday. <laughs> for dinner, they're both awesome, but there has to be more. What's your next, the, your next favorite place in Coeur d'Alene? Which one is it? Ooh, I have it in my head. Okay, ready. One, two, three. Vine and olive. Vicinos. I know it's a pizza place. It's not what you think of fine dining. But dude, the pizza is so good. It is really good. And it's right there across the street from the movie theaters. Okay, so Vine and Olive is also across the street from the movie theater. Yes. And I will tell you, the fried pork shake at Vine and Olive is awesome. I know, the texture is so cool. Like it's deep fried, so you think you're eating fried chicken, mm -hmm. but it's pork. It just like, I don't know. And then 
the appetizers too, that, that tuna, the oysters are amazing. It, it, they have a great wine and beer selection also. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the pizza place, they have a really, really good appetizer. It's like fried risotto balls that are stuffed with different things. That sounds it's great. good, you should try it. And then the red sauce, it's so good. It, Vecinos. Vecinos, there we go. <laughs> so we need to go to the next favorite place. You I have, have another one You have mind. one in mind? Oh, okay, yeah. which is your next favorite place in, in Coeur d'Alene for dinner? Okay, let's go on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Satay. satay. Oh. Yep. All right, so satay is it, really good. I used to live right around the corner from there. I, I don't think I've had anything bad there. The food has always been really good. Mm -hmm. They also have those Chambord injected strawberries. Chocolate covered wow. strawberries are injected with Chambord. Wow. Did you know in that wine room downstairs underneath the glass, you can rent that space and actually dine there? No, I thought it was just for show. Just no, to, you just to scare there. you when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> All these places, what do we got, five so far? Mm -hmm. There's one more that I really liked. I want to add this one as a bonus because it was really, really good. It's, it's pretty new. I mean, I, I just discovered it last week. The Terrassa Waterfront Cafe down in Riverstone. Oh yeah, that's great. You got a really good view of the river. Uh, the food was awesome. I mean, it's more like a, a, a Latin Spanish flair. Mm -hmm. The guacamole appetizer was awesome. The that margarita was flight was really good. There was that one drink you had. What was it? Um, oh, it was the mezcal. Mezcal, mezcal. Old Fashioned. Yeah, mezcal is it's very similar to tequila, but it's smoked. If I can say one <laughs> thing about mezcal, Drink at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> All these places we talked about, I, I, I classify them in the best because they they deliver in the appetizers, the salads, the entrees, and desserts. It's really difficult to find someone that can do all three or four things consistently. All those things also combined with a great atmosphere. Voila. Yes. You yeah, have our the, top five. The atmosphere is, I think we're top six. Top six. Top six <laughs> dinner places in Coeur d'Alene. But wait a minute, how about Cedars? Oh, Cedars atmosphere is par to none. Where else do you go and actually float? I think Cedars is the only place you can dine and be on the water, like truly on the like, water. Like literally float, like you feel it, you see it. Oh yeah. And you know, the food's good too. They got a really good salad bar. Their prime rib always sells out. Yes, the prime rib so is you know really, really good. good. Mm -hmm. And they have that, that beer garden sauce on the steaks. Like mm -hmm. you can get a New Yorker or a filet and get the beer garden. It has like ginger and soy and garlic and all kinds of other stuff. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh, the seafood risotto. I haven't had that. There. It's really good. Cedars should definitely be a bonus. So bonus number two, Cedars Floating Restaurant. This is really one of those classic places that everybody recommends. All these places have dessert, but there's my favorite, and I'm sure you got your own. I do. So on three. One, two, three. Bees, Bees knees. knees. Ooh, we agreed. <laughs> Finally. <Wow. laughs> Only because they have the best desserts. It's a whiskey bar, but they have awesome stuff, and I, I really liked it. Dude, you do really get Bees Knees? Yeah, I got it to go. So really, we get a dessert here at the house. To go. Bees knees. So they go. sell it to go. There's a new law in Idaho where you're able to package and sell to go alcohol. It's temporary. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but while it does, let's take advantage of it. Apparently it's sealed because he can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, trying. Which one's that? This is the amaretto old fashioned. Ooh, I want that one. They give you the orange. Seriously? They give you the fixings? And the real cherry. That one looks interesting. Fireside. Fire. What's it called? The Fireside? Something. I don't remember the name. But it also comes with. Oh, that's what they burn. They burn the rosemary thing. That's what. Rosemary sprig. Mm -hmm. I know there's a million restaurants or some that I left out, not because I don't like them, but because other people voted on these on, on Facebook. So you let me know in these comments if you're interested and I will make a second video as soon as I lose the 20 pounds I gained making this one. Cheers to that. Good? Cheers. Cheers to that. Peace. Okay, so how are we throwing them? Whoa. Ready? See? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, that's why we lost. Your hair is at least two feet long. Dude, when are you gonna cut your hair? Soon, I have an appointment. When? September. Oh my gosh.
It's been over two years. What's another couple of months? 